We all have that one friend that just likes to take things way too far. Maybe it's uh, their hairstyles, or maybe it's the amount of deodorant they use. I don't know, but we all know that person. Do you know any people like that? Yes. Who? You. Why? I knew you were going to say that. I'm actually curious. <laughs> Why were you going to say that? Because you're overdramatic, and you just always take things too far. Yeah. It's probably about right. But we're looking at people who, who do the same thing. So this should be pretty interesting. But let's get into it. All right, this girl said, so there was an episode of Hannah Montana when Jackson pretended to lose his memory. Did you remember that episode? Nope. Me neither. So me in the second grade wanted to do it too. So I slipped and fell, quote unquote. Those quotes are big here. In the bathroom at school. And then I told my friends I couldn't remember anything. And they told the teacher. Then I went to the nurse and then I went to the hospital. They was doing tests the whole time. I'm faking it. Wow, it's probably pretty expensive for the parents. That girl definitely took it too far. Yeah, you took it way too far. Far. Yeah, that. If I was that this girl's parents, I'd be ticked because I'm sure that procedure, whatever's going on there, is not cheap. No. Like that's just to go be, to the hospital is expensive. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It says this is why I carry my lock picks around. So there's. What is he picking it? Oh, he turned the rolls. You know how people like doing it where the roll comes down uh, like, uh, behind it, not on in front of it. What are you? I wait, don't care. What? This person carries lock picks around to flip Just over to the toilet paper. In a public restroom where nobody cares. You need help, bro. The, if I'm going to take a dookie. Well, I guess this could be a girl's bathroom. But if I'm going to take a dookie in a restaurant, it's it's bad. And I'm not too concerned what way the toilet paper is facing. <laughs> my main concern is, oh my God, I hope no one's in the bathroom right now. But they clearly really, really, you know, want the toilet paper to be yeah. the way they want it to be. Yeah, and they, they picked that lock and flipped it. Well, good for you, dude. Good for you. You got us. A woman has been busted for trying to smuggle her lover out of prison in a suitcase. Wait, what? Out of prison in a suitcase. Okay. Wait, what? I'm just confused how... Okay, here, let's read what this person said. How did they get this pick? They either made him get back in or told him not to move. I don't know which is funnier. Okay, yeah, that is pretty funny. How does this girl get a suitcase in prison? How does she get him in the suitcase? Like, aren't guards watching? That's what I'm saying. Like, what, at what point? Like, how did this happen? But is he really in prison? Because look at his clothes. Maybe he got just got detained. Wow. That's... Look at look at the girl just like looking at the suitcase. Like, uh, I should have brought a more neutral yeah, color suitcase. Was, this really stands out. This nice neon pink really stands out. Yeah, that's not smart. Not. I like the love. It's like a good love story, but we all knew that wasn't gonna work. All right, so someone took their dirty, nasty, used, 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 used shoes and took the new ones off the hanger and then hung their dirty shoes back up at Walmart. Only at Walmart, I kind of feel like. I know. You know happen. what? If if this is at Walmart, it's fine. You can do this at Walmart. Okay. Like, does anyone really buy shoes at Walmart? You literally own a pair of flip flops that you bought from Walmart. They're flip flops. It's not a pair of shoes. They're not reliable. They are designed to be wet. That's why I bought them there. Yeah, this, this is fine. If it was at like Dick's or Target, then no. Get them out of here. You're you're going 10 years in prison. But since it's Walmart, I'm all right with this one. What the F is that? <laughs> <laughs> they swapped a cat and a husky and made a cursed image. I, yeah. Wait, I at first thought that that cat on the side was like a, a, a stuffed animal. Really? I didn't think there was an actual cat. And then I looked at the husky's face and I realized that there was some serious face swapping going on. I won't lie. That doggy on the left, the husky cat, I would definitely own one of those. That is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. The cat, on the other hand, looks a little, a little weird. It's like but... we like make a new breed. A yeah. cat, a cat husky, a, a cusky. Is that a cuss word? A cusky. Watch your profanity. No. <laughs> Husky, <laughs> it sounds bad. I don't know. I'm sorry if that's inappropriate. I don't know. It just sounds bad. This one says, lost my girlfriend tonight, and here's the last picture before she went in. Still searching for her. <laughs> Do you think that's like in is a, that a Is that like an hotel? That is a huge shower. Like, is that not a huge shower? Like, look at the size of... Okay, look at the size of that little... Like, the rail... Or not the railing, the handle <laughs> that you slide the door. That thing is, like, bigger than her head. How do you mess up this bad? How do you... Here we go. Sorry, look at the, okay, look at the picture here. The burrito is wrapped in cotton candy and filled with ice cream. Great theory. And it says, you can't just wrap a thing in another thing and call it a burrito. A human body isn't a bone burrito. Whoa. Or is it? Or is it? I saw this thing. I think it was actually PewDiePie's video that said, uh, we are really just a brain inside of a flesh mech. 
love that. It's cool. funny because mechs are in Fortnite right now, and it's like a robot you control, and it's they're super care. overpowered and stuff. And people hate them, and like people are like boycotting Fortnite because Don't of it. Don't care. But if you think about it, we are just a brain, babe. Like our brain is us. We are just a brain. And this guy just took it way too far because you know he he created some Inception thing that obviously Andrew just displayed. Just a. Ow! You just poked me in my eyeball. Or did your brain poke me in the eyeball? Think about it. I'm telling you. I feel like this is in that era when people were doing like the weird <laughs> selfies. Like you're. I, oh wait, no, it was the planking. Was it? Is that what I'm thinking of? Sorry, did I just spit on you? <laughs> <laughs> You really just spit in my mouth. I'm so funny. But yeah, there was like an, an era. I don't know when it was, but people like did this for like the memes. Like they would lay in really weird well, positions. Well, I would hope that the only reason she would do this is to potentially be memed. That this isn't just actually a picture she would want to take. Yeah, maybe. But that is some flexibility if I've ever seen it. Oh, yeah. Like doors, I think, are seven foot tall. It's not even about the flexibility. It's about the fact that she took the picture with her toe. She was probably just video recording. Let's be honest. A lot of people fake that and then they screenshot. I'm not believing she hit the button with her toe. Mm. Cool pick, though. All right, so we have a man that is hugging, bear hugging the front of another man. That then the man looks like he has a very unproportional belly. And it says that the best friends disguise themselves to sneak into a movie. Dude, just buy a movie ticket. I won't lie, though. This... That looks real. No, it does not. That Okay, of all the fake ones, that looks the most realistic. But, like, how do you not move at all? Like, the guy can't move at all. Nowadays, like, if you're working at a movie theater, you can't be like, is that a person? And he goes, you can't do that because if you're wrong... Shoot. Plane forced to land after passenger uses sleeping husband's finger to unlock phone. Finds out he's cheating on her. Whoa. That's, wow. I just want to know what the wife or girlfriend or whatever, oh yeah, it is the wife, was doing to the husband to make them land the plane. That is it. Wait, what if, what was the husband doing to the wife? Yeah. And first off, husband, if you're going to be cheating on your wife and all that stuff, you should probably have the brain to finger um, connection. So if someone takes your hand and goes, while you're sleeping. No, it's like the passcode. Oh, yeah, I was thinking they swiped. I guess you want to need the other <laughs> finger. No, <laughs> what he go, really, <laughs> now listen, what he really should have done is he should have made his big toe the password to unlock his phone. I feel like that is not practical. I feel like, let's just say you're uh, at a school assembly with thousands of kids all around you. And you need to check your phone. I feel like you'd be very weird if you pull out your toe and unlock your phone. Just saying, probably not a good idea. Or you would be deemed as brilliant. I don't think so. This boy, this boy, he took that prom proposal a little too far and he got prom tattooed on the side of his body. And honestly, we do hope that she said yes, but in a way, I kind of hope she said no, but I'm gonna assume she said yes by them kissing. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe this is the second girl he asked. Because, I mean, it's not like he said, hey, Sarah, will you go to prom with me? He just said prom. But, like, what is he planning on doing with that tattoo? Like, later on in his life, he just wants the word prom on him? Maybe. It's kind of cool. Not prom sucks. Okay, this is an April Fool's joke, okay? As you see here, we have two boxes of Krispy Kreme donuts. I love Krispy Kreme. You love Krispy Kreme when you used to have them. I remember she ate, like, a dozen every morning. It was insane. But now, look at this. Boom! They filled it up with veggies, which is just so effed up, and it says April Fool's. That's if a good April Fool's joke. If you did this to me, I would... What? What would you do? I'm so scared. Oh, oh I'm so scared, Andrew. Scary. See that? I didn't even flinch. Did she flinch? These Oreos are not just your typical Oreos. They're not even your typical birthday cake Oreos or your Oreo Thins. These are just all the stuff Oreos, which means it's just the cream. I actually didn't know they did these. I we don't, should do a taste I test. honestly don't think they do. There's like, no way these are real. Why, why would Oreo make an Oreo without a cookie? That's like the definition of what makes an Oreo. Does it though? I feel like if you did a poll, 90% of people like the cream over the cookie. Just no, how would you even take that out? Like it's like. <laughs> it's, a good it's a good question. <laughs> I feel like they would all be stuck together, but I want it. You can eat these too, can't There's you? There's no way they're real. They, they can't be real. They're not real. It was an April Fool's. No. It's fake. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Mm. 
The caption says, I'm not sure if this is lazy or brilliant. And here we have some guy who dropped his shirt outside of his window. And instead of going down to get it, he just pulled out the vacuum sweeper. And he uh, he was going to suck that thing up the tube and uh, get it that way. I would say that's dumb because what if you drop your vacuum cleaner, then you're out of vacuum cleaner and your shirt is still on the ground. I mean, let's be honest. He probably got that vacuum at Goodwill. If it was a Dyson, then you should probably go out and get that's it. That's true. That's true. But I respect it. I respect it, bro. Well, there you have it. Oh, oh. Well, there you have it. As you see, some people in this world take things way too far, whether it's their selfie abilities or um, their, um, 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 <laughs> I can't think of another one. What else happened? Um, or the <laughs> Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> I completely forgot what we just did, but yeah, people... Okay. That's gonna suck to edit. <laughs> Just take it out, babe. You close this out. But make sure before you leave to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm.